Hey there! So today we have another Battle Beers, and this is between three of the classic Treehouse beers. Uh, I would argue these are their uh, flagships. These are the three most rated beers that they have on Untapped and Beer Advocate. First added on Beer Advocate 2012, 2013, 2014. So uh, very curious to do a Battle Beers between these three. I think everybody has, at least the Treehouse enthusiasts, definitely have their preferences. I've always said my favorite, geez, that smell of Julius is like... You can't mistake it. It's just like, I've had enough Julius in my life, so. Yep, that smell of green is also <laughs> mistake <laughs> unmistakable. Even from this distance. I mean, we're, we're talking about like, it's like what, eight inches? Um, you can already smell the bunch. So, uh, really excited. I mean, we're, obviously it's not completely fair. We have IPA, IPA, double IPA, but uh, really curious to see how these beers turn out. You guys can see them too. And just a little bit more here, right? So, Battle Beers, why not? Let's the first one. It's been, I don't know how many years, or at least a year, while since I've had Julius. It smells like Julius, yeah. It's a soft orange creamsicle thing. They call peach, yeah, peach mango. Passion fruit, melange citrus. It's just that really soft, doughy quality. Um, really nice and tropical, sweet. Actually, don't even have this that cold, so. Mm, okay, yeah. I would argue not quite the the, the rounded mouthfeel that I get from General Treehouse or what I remember Treehouse used to taste like. Like, there also is a little bit of hop bite to the back that never was there. Then again, this is very fresh. This was canned eight days ago. It definitely has a lingering green hop character. Yeah. Before this beer, beer was rounded, sweet, well, impression of sweetness, and they're just like really clean. Now I definitely sense some of that hot matter just sitting on the palate. So maybe that falls away with maybe a couple weeks, but tasting quite good. Reminds me of what Julius tastes like. I'm not popping out of the glass. I get green mango. I get that like cantaloupe thing that I get from uh, uh, Galaxy. They call notes of uh, pineapple, orange, sor sorbet, and tangerine. It's also a good take on green. Again, for me, impression-wise, the mouthfeel is just not quite the same. It's like very watery for what I'm used to treehouse tasting like. This one, there's also uh, there's always a little bit of a green edge to the green. Um, Joe calls it basil. Here it comes off actually like quite aggressively minty, which is actually quite strong. Like spearmint, like sweet, like chewing gum mint. Quite nice though, but he's interesting. Oh wow, this is vastly different in Candate. This was canned one, five weeks ago? Yeah, five weeks ago, let's say. Oh, interesting. This is a week, five weeks. I get a little bit dank on this one. This one, easily the most dank. Easily. Cheers. It's all right. Mm. This one rides with a lot of that kind of like wheat slash oat sweetness to it. Nice and soft. Probably like arguably the most treehousey of the bunch because I maybe get a hint of the bubblegummy thing, but it has the least amount of like rough edges that these beers sort of like shine or show off. Shows a little bit of double IP quality. Has a little bit of like alcohol riding on the way down. But yeah, it has most amount of that kind of like treehouse soft, creamy mouthfeel thing. Wow, interesting. <laughs> this one is same as this, like a week, fresh. Very curious. Um, preference wise, I mean, again, I, I just don't think these are the best examples of what I remember treehouse tasting like, but granted they're very delicious beers. They are very tasty beers. I wouldn't say they're like crazy, crazy world class as I, you know, like generally expect from Trias, but hmm, quite interesting. My preference for sure is one. So it's almost like an unripened green mango thing, which rides in there, which is quite interesting. Yeah, it's a bit better. Really sweet. Kind of like orange concentrate, navel orange, almost like, it's almost like 
orange sorbet. Yeah, it's like it's. I know they call orange sorbet on this one, right? But it's more like orange sorbet on this one. It's that really just like um, minute made <clears throat> orange concentrate flavor. And crazy enough, my general favorite, or my what I generally call to be my favorite of lunch, it's just like minty and like. Hmm. Yeah, but it is time for cuvee. That's a rating. Let's go, let's go through some ratings, actually. Ah, pff, that's hard. These are all in the A-ish range. They're not in the an A-plus range, I don't think. No, that's pretty fire. A-plus. Ninety-seven. Pretty dope. Ninety-seven. They're both probably the same. Ninety-seven. Ninety-four. Yeah, that one's the outlier for me. Interesting. So. And this was the one that was canned. Yeah, this one was five weeks old. So. Looks about right. Not too much beer. We did the cuvee. So this is what, what do we call this? How do you combine the words haze, <laughs> Julius, and green together? I know these two I used to call grays. This one I called Juline. I don't know. You guys figured it out in the comments below. You guys are smarter than me. Um, still wonderful appearance though. I didn't even mention the appearance about these beers, but when you blend them, wow, this is a beautiful color. I get a little bit of that just green hop character is driving on there. Not bad. Actually a decent blend because it's sort of like rough, but it still has a little bit of that green hop bite on the back end. Um, it's not that bad, but just a lingering kind of like Again, like arugula, is it arugula? Just like vegetal kind of just matter, you know, like when you eat salad and, and, and try to chew on grass, it just has that kind of green matter, chlorophyll kind of thing, just or sits on palate. Yeah, there you go. Um, quite delicious stuff, but you know, quite enlightening how uh, what treehouse tastes like these days and I have a lot of other treehouse review for you guys. So that's sort of my ranking, at least what these beers at this state taste like. Then again, this one's the oldest one, you know, one week to five weeks. Maybe this one jumps with some time. You guys post in clo uh, below, what is your favorite? Again, I said uh, 97, 97, 94. Cheers, later.